Jamaican businessman Billy Trail is investing heavily in unearthing, imaging, and promoting new artists in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Billy comes to our stage with his stable of artists discovered so far, and they will be live. But first, let's talk to the big man then now. Sir, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm congratulating you because this is something that the space has been asking for for people with resources, financial resources, to invest in the talents of Jamaica, to invest in a full house business around artists. And you're doing it, sir. So yeah. before we even know the details, may I, may I big you up for that? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks. And likewise to you for giving us the opportunity to showcase this to the world. Okay, so but why St. Elizabeth? Though? All right, well, I'm totally sold out to St. Elizabeth. It's, it's called the Breadbasket Parish for many reasons. It's where I do most of my business, mm -hmm. and it is where I went to school, and we grew up there. Okay. So St. Elizabeth is home for me. Yes. And anybody who lives somewhere, they should try and let it improve it, let it be better. Mm -hmm. And being, in improving somewhere, you have to improve the people around you. And you have to start with the younger people, and especially the talented people. Yes. Hence the reason why that venture. And this is not your first um, no, investment you, in music? No, I've always in, been in entertainment. Um, you can remember we had Rum Punch, we had Stir It Up at the Mass Camp, we had Rum Punch in Miami. We have all type of events in Miami and Jamaica for years. Yes. The last time I was here, it was what? Stir It Up? Stir It Up, right. At the Mass Camp. So we switched from party promotion and we went to sound. Mm -hmm. And we create a brand and we're doing sound. And so this is always at the forefront. And we built from the ground up. Now we're into music production. Yes. So what did you find in St. Elizabeth when you went about looking at St. Elizabeth from a music, from a, a business perspective? Mm -hmm. The plan started when I realized that there are many parishes that has ruled out a plethora of musical talent. Mm -hmm. It started with Montego Bay. Yes. Then it shifted to St. Mm -hmm. Then it shifted to St. Thomas, which is now the big thing. But the, the, the difference is that I observed that Kingston was the mecca. Yes. So all the artists care on how talented you are. From your from deep rural Jamaica, you have to journey to Kingston to be discovered. Yes. So my whole frame of mind was, why not bring what is in Kingston? To the parish and give the artists equal opportunity in terms of in terms of studio in terms of marketing okay. promotion and and that is what led to to, to such a, a, a an effort for me well that's what i'm commending you for my friend to be an entrepreneur you have to be a risk taker yes so it is a part of the whole modus operandi of entrepreneurship but, but so, <laughs> you also have to mitigate risk i do yes you do yes but the bigger the risk the bigger the profit right yes we know this however what, what I also notice is that I, in my years of operating a sound system, mm -hmm. all over Jamaica, we perform overseas, I got exposed to most of the artists in Jamaica. So opening a studio, I had the option to procure established artists yes. in my rhythm. But to me, that would be cheating the game. Because I remember Sir Cox and Dad and all these people, they started with Bob Marley laying down on the floor in the studio. Bob Marley was not known to anybody. So to be a true producer and a true lover of music, you need to harness new talent and create new talent. Mm -hmm. So the young artist is where I look at. Yes. And one of the main things I look for in, in, in a young artist is humility. Because talent can be, can be you know, you can add to it, you can, you can rehearse, you can get better. Mm -hmm. But the attitude and being marketable, meaning no, no criminal records, no not in any bad company, not doing anything that can damage your growth as an artist. Okay. So that was one of my pet peeves in finding these artists. All right. And the, the process you used, talk about that. Yeah, what I did was I released a rhythm on Facebook and I asked all new artists to send me a demo. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in the midst, I had like two or so artists that I've previously worked with. So I already know that they were talented and they had the right attitude. Yes. But the, there are artists who send in the demo and I listen to them, I invite all of them to the studio, I voice all of them on, on the rhythm, and then I wasn't listening for what is coming out of the speakers, I was watching their attitude. Oh. So I watched how they interacted, I watched how they, 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 
they, they put the port men the way they, you know, mm -hmm. and I look for the camaraderie, and that is one of the, the secondary um, avenue I use when I'm assembling these five artists. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you coming and sharing all of this with us, sir. Not a problem. And we look forward now to, oh. <laughs> we look forward now to meeting the artists. Oh yes. All all five of them. Jamaica, play, you're in, you're in for a treat. And they're performing with us. It's gonna be crazy. And we have some great musicians. Yes. That you have brought together to do this. Yes. Okay. And these are youngsters themselves. Yes. These musicians, former students of Edna. Yes. And so on. So. We're really exhibiting right here on our stage today the future of Jamaica's music. Yeah. That's why we're doing it right here. So stick around and...